hey t fam welcome back to another video and if you're new here hi my name is tamina and this is my arm day also known as a type 4 hair wash day which is just also known as a workout <laughs> so my first step is always to pre-poo and if you're confused about what this is like i was when i was first natural it just means to pre-shampoo meaning it's what you do before you shampoo so it has numerous benefits guys it um coats your hair so that your hair is not completely stripped of its natural oils during the shampooing process this then also gives a conditioner something to latch onto to infuse more moisture in your hair and also it helps you detangle so yeah what i usually do is i use coconut oil i love coconut oil coconut oil solves all problems you guys i wish it could also solve my real life problems like it does my hair problems so i just um generously apply like a lot to my hair and then i just like rake my hands through my hair to ensure that i get off all my shed hair because i just came from having passion twists so i want to get out all that shed hair so that when i'm washing my hair my hair doesn't um like go all over the bathroom because my mom will kill me for real and it just helps yeah so that's what i usually do look at that <laughs> So the next thing I do is that I get get my shower cap which is very insulated in on the inside and then I put it on my hair to make sure it traps all heat. After this I put on my cotton t-shirt to even trap more heat. I leave this in for 15 minutes and then I just take it out as you guys can see and yeah I just after this I just start my shampooing process look at those twists then I realize I actually don't have shampoo and I was stressing <laughs> so I violently remove the rest of the product from the shampoo bottle I use a kid's shampoo because I am just a child trapped in a 20 year old body so I focus the shampoo on my scalp because if you have a dirty scalp, then your hair can't grow. So if you have a clean scalp, then your hair can grow. So I mostly focus this on my scalp and then I'll distribute the product later to the tips of my hair. But mostly I want to focus on my scalp. I'm focused on my scalp. Okay. <laughs> Then I have this um, like hair massager that I got from Best Lady for like 25 shillings and I just use this to go around my whole scalp just making sure that blood is really circulating you know and I just do this every single place at every single point of my hair and then I just distribute the rest of the product throughout my hair. then my scalp was really clean after this and yeah the next step was to condition this is my favorite step ever i use the tresemme moisture rich and i know this is said to be for white hair but let me tell you guys it works magic so first i distribute a generous amount into my hair strands and then i take my detangling brush and i just detangle look at that this is hair porn guys look at that detangling wow And then I put my hair into a nice thick, thick with a Q, twist. And then I continue to distribute the conditioner throughout the rest of my hair. It actually defines your curls and you can just see your curls are getting like a lot of moisture. And then I continue detangling because this is my favorite process and it really just makes your hair more manageable. And it makes it less of a workout to actually wash your hair. Next thing I do is rinse and then I use my rice water as a treatment. I've left this there for 24 hours and then I usually pour it into a spray bottle with equal parts water and equal parts rice water to dilute it. And then I take my spray bottle, shake it <laughs> and then I spray it on my hair. I make sure to focus on my problem areas like my edges because you know those ones be, I don't know, edges just misbehave most of the time and they just go, they disappear, they get lost. and yeah i just want to make sure they grow back because rice water really grows back your hair thicker and longer it's like this is the biggest secret guys and then i just rinse it off after it's been in my hair for like 30 minutes
bye guys <laughs> so the next thing i do is i put my hair in like a hundred percent in like a a hundred percent cotton t-shirt that's a mouthful and then i just begin styling but before that i wanted to show you guys all the hair that um shed during my wash day yeah because we're this close so just look at it next thing i do is proceed to style my hair and i use the lock method which is the liquid oil and cream method um the liquid that i use is just water because my hair is kind of damp from washing it and then the oil i use is coconut oil and then the, the cream i use is the cantu leave-in conditioner and yeah and then i make my thick twists i make sure my babies are thick and healthy After this, I tuck my thick babies to bed and I make sure they're securely, securely in this um, kitamba because you guys, sometimes during the night, I don't know what demons I'm fighting with, but I always just find my kitamba on the other side of my bed in the morning and I'm not about that life. They have to be secure. My babies have to be really nicely tucked in inside this scarf. So the next morning it's time to check on my babies it's time to see if these children have let me down <laughs> so i just put um a generous amount of coconut oil on my fingertips so that when i detangle my twists not detangle when i take out my twists they don't become like super freezy look at that they didn't let me down so i don't know why i struggled to make a puff you guys this took so long and I was just about to cry. But let's, let's just focus on the thickness of the hair and how soft and cloudy my hair felt after this wash day. Because um, <laughs> I couldn't get my puff and I didn't get any pictures in it. So this just marks the end of my wash day. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, comment um, wash day if you've reached this part of the video. And yeah, just look at that thickness. My hair felt so soft, cloudy. I just oh my god i just loved it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye t fam